Why y'all there? Lord of mercy, what a blessing. I'm Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks, wherever you are at in the world. I hope you're having a great week and everything's good with you. But over here in East Central Mississippi, I'm here to tell you, going through the crazy weather spell again. It's uh, probably in the high 70s right now. Gonna hit the 80s. And in a few days, we're gonna drop down to the 30s again. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always gonna say that if you're new to this channel, I wanna welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show enough thank you for coming back. But what I wanna share with you and y'all today is Lord of Mercy. The second part of what I want to show y'all has finally come in. Super excited about it. So give me a second, and I'm finna show you. This is what came in. This is the Vigo planter series, and this is a tomato planter, even though we're not gonna plant a tomato in it. It is a self-watering rolling tomato planter pot with trellis. Pretty excited about it. Basically, this is just a really nice wicking system with a trellis system that's attached to it. I uh, will say right off the bat, I did open it up just to take a peek at it, and this thing is packed really well. We'll put y'all on a tripod. We're gonna take this thing out of the box. We're gonna take a look at it, put it together, and see if we can't get it planted. All right, let's get into this. Looks like we got some instructions on how to put it together. And I apologize, y'all. It is rather late, and we're losing light. So I apologize ahead of time for the light if it seems kind of dim. We're gonna try to get this put together. I need to clean up underneath my overhang of my shop. This is going to be all the accessories. It comes in one box. That's pretty nice. Let's see if we can't open this up. Okay. This is probably the trellis system and yeah, okay. This is going to be all the parts for the trellis system. So let's see if we can't get everything out of the box. All right. This is the planter itself. I like it. I like the color. Get that out of the way. Yeah, really like that. Okay, let's take a look at the instructions. And instructions are a big thing with me because they have to be clear and precise. Gives you a packing list. Okay, parts for the trellis system assembly guide. Okay, attach four wheels to the corresponding holes at the bottom of the planter. If you do not intend to move your planter, the wheels can be removed or not installed. Okay, let's see. Push the water gauge into the planter as shown. Here is our water gauge. That's pretty nifty. I've never seen one like that. It's got some markings for uh, empty all the way up to full. Let's see. see the trellis system. That's what we're going to put up next. And I'm going to say that these instructions are really, really well written. I've dealt with some companies before and the instructions were just horrible. Let's get the trellis system built. Parts in there, and here are the wheels. If you want to move it around, let's put them on now. As a matter of fact, okay, the planter has holes down at the bottom, and you just take these little wheels, slide them all in there. And oh, the wheels actually swivel. That's pretty cool. All right, the trellis system is actually made out of metal. I really like that. It's not uh, the plastic, so these should hold up pretty good. I'm just dumping everything inside the planter just so we could get it going and then we'll rock on from there. Let's just see how this thing is put together. Put straight poles and curved poles on the straight pole connectors. You have some curved pieces and some top pieces and some straight pieces, but this is the bottom level of the trellis. You can build three of these to go up. So I think I might just do, I don't know, well, let's do all three and just see what it looks like. All right. There are the pieces I was talking about. They kind of curved. Sorry about the light, y'all, but I am definitely losing light out here. And I tell you what, this is going to be a nice trellis system. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with it already, and I haven't planted anything in it yet. I like the way that this trellis system is. For one, it's made out of metal. Might have to come back around and tighten these guys up and push stuff down here we go all right so that's that's two of them see if we can't put the third one on okay so here is this planter fully assembled 
A uh, little learning curve for me because I had to look at the diagrams and see exactly which one of these poles went where. But I'm here to tell you, I'm right at six foot tall. And yeah, this is a tall planter. This is, uh, what, I don't know, over five foot. It's just, yeah, I like it. Uh, the cool thing about it is you get to planting here. And if you wanted to, you could probably use string if you wanted to to help your, your plant grow up. And this top part, it's got a, like a four-way connector here. You could probably hang string down from here, down there, to grab whatever it is you're planting. This is going to work really, really well for, I would say, tomatoes, maybe even cucumbers. I'm really, really losing light right now, but I intend on planting a cucumber, this one right here. So, yeah, may have to do that tonight and just uh, show y'all uh, what it looks like in the dark. I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned that this wicking bed has a gauge. So, of course, you're going to add your water here into this hole. Uh, the plant's going to wick up what it needs, and you can't see it because it's starting to get dark. But as you fill this, this container up, it's going to register on this bulb right here. And as the plant uses the water, of course, it's going to drop. And then when you need to add water, it's going to tell you. But let me see if I can't get something planted in here. And if I have to, I'll just bring a flashlight out here. Be right back. All right, you and y'all, here we are five days later from the original uh, time that I made, I started the video on the Vigo Garden planter, uh, tomato planter, the trellis system and planter. Uh, we had several bad storm cells that passed through the last uh, two or three days, and I mean to tell you, it was bad. Did a little short video on what I saw at work, and yeah, it was just no way for me to get out here and finish this video. But now that we have daylight savings time in effect, it's staying daylight a little bit longer, so now I can get out here and show you the end result of this planter, and we'll talk about it. So let's go do that. All right, here we go. Here is the Vigo Garden tomato planter with trellis or the trellis system. I have a cucumber in here growing right now. We're going to see how it does. I might do some little trimming on it, but no big deal. We're going to see how this thing grows. But what I want to do is I want to give you uh, my thoughts on it. It is a wonderful planter for a, a planter and trellis system, wicking system, uh, for somebody that may live in, let's just say, an apartment, may have a small space that they can grow in, this is going to work out perfect for you because you can grow a pretty tall plant in this guy with no problems. Uh, I'm going to say the key things that I want to go over uh, with y'all on this planter is, I'm here to tell you, it is a wicking bed system. You can't get any better than that. This will water this plant itself. The maintenance is really, really low. You just have to monitor this bulb right here and check your water. When it gets down to uh, almost empty, you fill it up, this thing goes back up, and yeah, it's going to water itself. It's a wicking bed system. This planter will hold approximately one cubic foot of growing medium, and that is something that I really like. Uh, the reservoir down at the bottom will hold nine liters or approximately two and a half gallons of water, which is really, really cool. That is a nice amount of water to keep whatever you have growing uh, in the system growing. Another thing I want to point out is this water regulator that is in the, on the back of this planter. It is uh, 30, 60, and 90 degrees on both sides. And what this does is if you want to retain maximum water in this planter, you leave it at 90 degrees. If you want to drain it off and keep a certain amount of water in it you just slide it over to the side and you see that water run out right now I'm running it at full capacity which is 90 degrees so I like that Vigo Garden says uh, in the instructions if you have this guy outside you could leave the stopper out but if you put this planter inside there is a stopper that looks like this that you can use to stop up this tube to stop you know so you don't get any leaks inside so I thought that was a really nice feature of this planter. Here's a stopper right here. I have mine out because I'm leaving the planter outside. Another really nice thing about this planter is the trellis system is made out of metal. It's not made out of plastic. So it doesn't bend, it doesn't give, and it's extremely rigid. 
and again I'm six foot tall and this planter if I had to guess is right around I don't know maybe five foot tall a little bit bigger than five foot tall so you are not limited to what you can grow in here I have a cucumber you could put a tomato plant in here perhaps so you can get an indeterminate tomato to actually grow in this system with no problems at all which is something that I really really like okay Dan you brought up some really really good points uh, what do you think about it I really really like it now what do I don't like well really don't have anything negative to say about this planter because I like everything about it I like the way it's designed what I do have is two suggestions not complaints but suggestions so Vigo Garden if you see this video yeah these are just my thoughts on it now number one I'm gonna say the white lettering on the instruction manual which I'm gonna say these instructions are extremely well written easy to understand but the white lettering on the instructions for me is extremely hard to see and I have to put on reading glasses regardless to read it but maybe if this lettering was in black it'd be a little bit uh, easier to read uh, some folks uh, that have bad eyes may even have to use uh, a magnifying glass reading this because it does get a little difficult to read my other suggestion the wheels um, I like the design and how this works you insert these into the bottom of the planter and you have some wheels but these wheels are, are really really small extremely small and if uh, somebody that has this planter if the place that they have the planter growing is not even or maybe may have a textured finish to their flooring it's gonna be really hard to roll this thing so maybe we can get some bigger wheels in the future maybe well, all right, that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all, Lord of mercy. The Vigo Garden tomato planter that's got the trellis system, three layers high. Really, really like it. It is a wicking system, and I'm here to tell you, I am thoroughly impressed with the way the Vigo Garden set this up. It's going to be a wonderful planter for somebody that may have a small space to grow in, or perhaps um, just want to put it out on their balcony and grow some vegetables this is the way to do it so what I'll do down in the description is I will add the link to this planner if you want to take a look at it and maybe decide whether or not you uh, this plan is going to work for you and I'll also throw a discount code uh, down in the description where Vigo Garden is offering 5% off of their planners such as the one that we looked at today so again I hope everybody's having a show enough good week and I hope y'all are staying safe amid this crisis that's still going on. If you uh, like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homer 6 channel, Lord of mercy. Y'all need to come over and give old Dan a look. Because I'm always doing stuff. Like messing around with another wicking system with a trellis. With that being said, you know what's coming, Dan. Reference show enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You sure enough get your shine on. Get your grow on. And Dan will see... You and y'all in the next video.